Hey. <laughs> oh, Priggity. Huh? Front man talk that talk. Yeah. Uh. What? What? Say ya, uh, pray ya. Can't make it to heaven. Lost will, we can't. Get rid of this leaven, ayy. To the pearly gates, we had it on. To the pearly gates, we had it on. To the pearly gates, we had it on. To the pearly, ayy. Say ya, uh. I'm just packing my bags, get ready for disaster. Heard my king getting mad, and as a certain man, that my love coming back. And when he do, it's gonna be five for that. And I'm all waiting in water. God's commandment. So now, sis, I'm gonna give you a commandment. And there's many other sisters out here listening as well because they want to know what God said that we're thirsty. We need God's, we need, we need, we need some of the water. We need some of God's commandment. We want to get ourselves right. And we don't, and the thing is, we haven't been taught these things. So I want to give you a commandment that that our ancestors, right? This is a part of the contract that our ancestors made with God. And we're not following this today. Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right. The Bible says the woman shall not wear things which pertaineth to a man, and neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A woman's garment is a dress. This is not a dress. This is a garment. You understand? You see the slits on the side. Uh, but but uh, we have many men, right? They just had the Oscars. I can't, believe, I can't remember the name of that guy. but it's a, Billy Porter. Billy Porter, right? He came to the Oscars, and a woman's dress. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's against God's commandments. But I, I just want to address the top part of this verse. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God says that the woman is not supposed to wear that which pertaineth to a man. Right. What is that talking about? What do women wear Bring it out. that Bring pertain it out. to a man? Pants. I don't like it, but I have to. Pants. I have to. The sister said it. Right Pants. 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 That's something. That's a, that's a clothing want to wear a that pertains to a man that know. women wear. That our women wear. And again, oh. all of these scriptures I brought out, this is a part of the contract. This is a part of the contract. So some people, I, I see that they're mad because they're like, what do you mean? Women can't wear pants? Look, I didn't make the contract. I'm just reading it. Bring it out. I didn't make it. I didn't write this. I didn't write it. This is what God said. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It says neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So man, women are not supposed to, this is talking about cross-dressing, right? So pants, the pants that you have on, you're not supposed to wear pants. That's a part of God's commandments. Give me that in 2 Timothy. I'm going to show you why. Why would God, why would God say that women are not supposed to wear dress? Because the thing is, when you wear one, I mean, wear, wear pants. When a woman wears pants, what it does is it puts a manly spirit on her. Right. You understand Bring what I'm saying? It it's it's cross-dressing. It puts a spirit on them that God never intended for his women, for his princesses. Matter of fact, give me Zephaniah chapter 1 and 8. For his princesses to wear. Because what you have to understand is that you are an Israelite. Okay? And as an Israelite, you are a princess. Read it. This, this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Now somebody will say, well, God, will God kill me for wearing pants? Right? This said it will come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's that's the day when Christ is going to bring destruction upon this earth. Because when he returns, when Jesus Christ returns, people think, many people think that God's going to come back. Christ is going to come back with lollipops. He's going to come back with butterflies. He's going to come back to give everybody hugs. No, 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 no. When he returns, he said, he called that day a day of sacrifice. That's what does that right. mean? Because many people are going to be killed. That's many right. people are going to be killed when Jesus Christ returns. Right. They are breaking God's commandments. Read. Read again. 
and it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes. The what? The princes. The what? The princes. He will punish the princes. Come on. And the king's children. And the king's children. Hey. King's children. Princes and princesses. Come on. And all such as are clothed, and a, all such that are what? And all such as are clothed, as are what? As are clothed. What's that word he just said? Clothed. Clothed. Does God Bring care about the clothes that I wear on my back? He said he's going to destroy all such as are clothed. Bring it up. Bring it With out. strange apparel. With what? what? With strange apparel. With strange apparel. It is strange apparel for a woman to wear pants. Right. Because That's God right. didn't design the woman to wear pants. He designed the woman to wear dresses and That's skirts right. and to dress modestly. Bring Give me that in Second Timothy. Since you got a question? Yes. What's your question? My question is, do God gonna punish me because I have pants on? I've been homeless, I've been celibate almost 10 years, and it's a bunch of men. I mean, I'm, I'm dealing with some real stuff. And I'm trying to make sure they don't get to, it won't be no easy access. Is God, I don't like, is I God, don't like pants. I is God going to put you to death? We're going to read the verse again. Okay. Is God going to put you to death? Is he going to put you to death for breaking his commandments? Read it again. Hey, John. For wearing pants. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. What did that say? He said he is. It said that he is. It said it is. Give me that Matthew chapter uh, 24. I'm, okay. Cause, Cause I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the day of the Lord. Can no I, man knows the day, nor the hour. Get that. 24 and verse 36. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. Bring it out. But of that day. So the day. When is the Lord? When is the the day of the Lord's sacrifice? When is Christ gonna return? Cause he said when he returns, he's gonna destroy all men and women who are cross dressing. All men and Bring women who are breaking his commandments. Come on. Dude, so let's God. see when that. When is that day gonna come? But of that day and hour knoweth no man. So nobody knows the day. Or the hour when Jesus Christ is going to return. Bring it out. So does that mean? Does that mean we should just continue in our sin? Give me that in uh, Romans chapter uh, six. Should we just continue to break God's commandments because nobody knows the day nor the hour? We don't know when He's going to return, right? He's not going to. We don't know. We don't know. So you know, since we, because this is the mindset that our people have, we say, well, nobody knows when He's going to return. I know that Scripture said that He's going to punish us if we're if we're cross dressing when He returns. So. You know, he, it's been all this time. This Bible's been around for thousands of years. He still hasn't come back. Maybe I could just continue to just live in my sin, right? You know, it's just, it's just too hard. Is, 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 is that what that means? Verse 6 and 1. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. Because here's a word I'm about to introduce that your pastors have introduced to you. You understand? They've introduced. I'm going I'm to I'm re, reintroduce. You know, what's that man, Jay-Z? He said, allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm about to reintroduce a word to you that your pastors have introduced to you and told you that it's okay for you to live in your sin. This is what Bring this is the out. word that they use. But we're, you're going to get the right understanding of this word today. Read. Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. That what? That grace may abound. That what? That grace may abound. People say, look, we have grace. We have grace. So because we have grace, it's okay for us to break God's commandments. We don't have to keep none of that stuff that's written in that book. Bring it that was, out. That was, that was for back then. That was for back then. The women, the women, the women not wearing pants. That was for back then. That's what people were saying. That's what people were saying. I see your hands shaking. That's what people were saying. They're saying that was back then. You know that 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 dietary law that is written that said you can't eat pork, you can't eat shrimp, you can't eat lobster, you can't eat food that doesn't have fish. They say that was for back then. Today we have grace. Read the verse again. Bring it up. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? So Paul asked the same question. Should we continue in sin? What is sin? Real quick. First John 5. First Bring John it out. Because a lot of because a lot of people don't understand, they don't even know what sin is. I'll say that, I will throw that word sin out there, and people don't even know what it is. Some people will say, they'll say, oh sin, what's sin? It's a it's a bad thing, or it's something that you shouldn't do, right? Dude. You get many different answers when you ask people what, what sin is. But what does God say is sin? Bring it out. The book of first John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever committed sin, transgresses 
also the law. Do what? Transgress it, also the law. Transgress means to break also the law. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. One of the laws that we brought out, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man, meaning pants, right? The woman is not supposed to wear pants. That's a law. So when you break that law, you're in sin. Break it out. Go back to where you was at. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Verse 2. God forbid. So he said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. That means no. We cannot continue to break God's laws just because we have grace. Because what grace is, right? We we will understand what grace is on every other. I, I, I got this with the Esther. That's 13. We, we we understand what grace is in every other context, right? If you get a if you buy a phone from the store and they say you have a grace period to turn it back, we understand that that grace means that I got a couple of days to figure out if I really want to buy this thing or not, right? We understand that. But when it comes to God's laws, we get simple. No. When he says that we have grace, that means we have a time period to get ourselves together. Right. Going back to your right. question, right? You out here homeless trying to figure it out. You have okay. you have a time right now, but then here's the thing. You don't know how long that grace is going to last. You don't know how long it's going to last. It can last for any minute. Can I say something? Yeah. Just, 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 just really quick, sis. I wanted to say something because you said you were wearing pants because of your current situation, right? And, and it's a common misconception, though, that pants protect women from rape. It doesn't. Majority of women wear pants now, and look at the rape culture that we live in now. So, I, 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 I understand what you're saying, sister. I don't want to be easy access. I, I understand what you're saying, sister. Make but, as hard as I can. but, what the brother's showing you, no, 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 no how's it You'll come right back up. But what, what, the, what the officer's showing you is that we have to keep God's command. We cannot have excuses. So, I wanted to eliminate that excuse really quick. Something? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Can I say something real quick? Go to Esther. Even if I'm staying in a place where they leaving the door open all night and, and guys going in and out like that, it... That's the only give reason me, why I'm doing give me it. I don't Sirach really like pants. Chapter, I like long dresses. Give me Sirach chapter 5. Not even really right here, but down here. I mean, uh, 32. I'm going to stop wearing 32. I mean that. I'm going to have to. I'm going to show you something, sis. I'm going to show you something, sis. Because we've been playing as a people. We've been playing with God for too long. We've been playing with him. We play with God. This is, what, this is what God says. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, mm -hmm. verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved but findeth an excuse according to his will. We can't allow excuses. You know what I'm saying? We can't. That's what we do. We, we try to create we try to create excuses to justify our sin. And we can't do that. Give me Esther chapter 13. 14. 14. You don't understand what I'm saying? Because they, they, they have a thing, that they have a saying, they say if there's a will, there's a way. If you really want to stop breaking God's commandments, you can stop breaking God's commandments. Bring it out! You understand what I'm saying? 13 and verse 14, verse 16. Read that. The book of Esther, chapter 14, verse 16. Because this right here, this is now now there's a difference because we have sisters out here. We got some women out here, right? Sisters out here who are because of their job, right? There's their police officers, their corrections officers, their nurses, whatever the case may be. Because of their job, they have they have they're required to wear pants. There's some sisters that have that. And then and, and then the and that's a, a condition of captivity, right? Our, our ancestor, okay. Esther, she was in captivity. Okay. Read that. No, the book of Esther, chapter 14, verse 16. Thou knowest my necessity, for I abhor the sign of my high estate. And Esther, she abhorred her sign of her high estate. Go ahead. Which is upon mine head in the days wherein I show myself. And that I abhor it as a menstruous rag. Because Esther, she had to wear clothing that God said it wasn't right for her to, to wear. She had to wear it. Go ahead. And that I wear it not when I am private by myself. But she said, when I can take it off, if I have the opportunity to take that stuff off, I'm taking it off. Right. I'm taking it off. Right. You understand? Right. So those sisters that that police officers or corrections so when they get off of work, as soon as they get as soon as they get into the locker room, they could take that stuff off. You understand what I'm saying? Or begin to look for a job that doesn't require them to defile themselves. Because no man knows the day nor the hour when Christ is going to return. A lot of people, a lot of 
of people think that we got time to get ourselves together. Right. You don't know. You don't know when he's going to come back. In any moment. Give me that Sirach chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. This is what God says. You know what that word tarrying means? They used to have, back in the day, they used to have these services called Terry services, right? We would, we would uh, uh, at midnight, you know what I'm saying, on New Year's Day, they call it a Terry service. We're going to wait till midnight, you know what I'm saying, to bring in the New Year. You know the New Year is actually not in January. The New Year is actually in the springtime, according to the bring Bible. You understand that? But that's what they would have. They would have these tarrying services. I mean, they would wait, they would wait, they would wait. God says, make no tarrying. What does that mean? Make no tarrying. It means don't wait. Don't wait. Read it. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Come on. And put not off from day to day. He said, and put not off from day to day. So that's what we do. We say, okay, I understand that that Bible says that I'm not supposed to dress like this. But you know what? I'll, 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 I'll get it right tomorrow. The brother smoking weed. He says, I know it's not right for me to smoke weed, but I'll stop smoking weed tomorrow. God says, make no tarrying from day to day. Why would he say don't wait till tomorrow? Read. For suddenly. For what? For suddenly. For what? For suddenly. When y'all can walk across the street, slip on a banana peel, get hit by a bus and be dead. Right. Suddenly. Yeah. What happened to Kobe Bryant? Yeah. What happened to him? Yeah. He was living his life right. like a regular day. He didn't out. think anything was going to happen to him. Yeah. He didn't wake up that morning thinking he was going to die. And he has, he's a millionaire. He's a millionaire. And God touched him just like that. Right. Guess what? Right. If he Bring can be out. touched like that with all that money that he had in his bank account, guess what? You and I can be touched as well. God, at a, in a sudden, in an inkling of a moment, he can put us to death. You can walk across the street, get hit by a car. You can drive in your car, get hit by a car. It, it don't matter. You could, The person, that the boy that's smoking that weed, that's what I'm trying to tell him, stop smoking that weed because it could be that last blunt. That could be the last blunt. I know people, they smoke. And, that, and then it was just that one blunt. That's all it took. That one blunt. And they lost their mind and they never came back. Right. Real, real, real quick, because I want to mention something that you, uh, the brother was talking to you earlier about. About you don't feel safe if you're wearing a dress or a skirt, right? Where you stay, right? So, back in the day, our Native American sisters, right? They wore dresses when there's riding horses and all that. And you see what this sister's wearing over here? What's that called? Huh? Leggings, right? Spandex, right? Tights. That's actually... I don't wear that. Right, listen. That's actually underwear. No, bring that's, it out! That's underwear. Right, that's so when you're wearing a dress, if you want to feel more safe, you can wear spandex under the dress. Oh, so you feel great. more safe. Yeah, because he was right about making no tarrying to serve the Lord. So there's always a way. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So listen, sis. Don't walk away here with any excuse in your mind. The brother was bringing it out right. But those are actually supposed to be wear underneath your clothing. Bring it out! She's actually wearing underwear That's on the... Okay. That's okay. But you, put, you cover it with a dress with okay. fringes on it. Okay. All right? But that's underwear. You understand that, little sister? So a dress is a righteous garment for a woman of God. But that is undergarments. All right? Give me that in uh, 2 Timothy. Oh, finish this verse. Finish this verse, and we're going to go to 2 Timothy. Chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, for suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security. In thy what? In thy security. In your security. I ain't going to die today. I got time. I can fix it tomorrow. He said, in your security, thou shalt be destroyed. He said, you will be destroyed instantly. Now, go back to, uh, give me uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. I think it's 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 11. Bring it out. Okay, we're saying that, we're bringing out the Bible. The Bible says that a woman is not supposed to wear pants. So what is she supposed to wear? Bring give me it that. Out. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What kind of apparel? Modest apparel. Modest apparel. Anybody got the definition? Can I get the definition of modest? Because some of us may not know what modest is, right? Because today, today they've changed. They've changed so many of these definitions. You know, there's people that's going to church today. People that go to church on Sunday. You're not supposed to go to church on Sunday, right? The Sabbath day is on Saturday. But people go to church on Sunday wearing hoochie mama dresses, and they'll say that's modest. So what? But what is what is modesty? What what is modesty? You know what I'm saying? In like manner also, that women adorn them.
themselves in modest apparel. God said that the women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. Women are supposed to dress modestly. What is modest apparel? Bring it up! We're going to pull up the definition of the word modest. Modest of a woman dressing or behaving so to as, as to be avoid uh, impropriety or indecency, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Modesty is dressing in a way as to avoid sexual attention. When a woman wears pants, what is able to be seen? You can see everything good. Everything. You could see everything. When a, when a woman wears pants, that's why it's not considered modesty. You understand what I'm saying? And God says that how is his women supposed to be dressed? In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right, they're supposed to wear modest apparel, meaning you're supposed to wear a dress that covers your whole body. Give me that in Matthew chapter uh, uh, 6. They're supposed to cover, you're supposed to cover, wear clothing that covers your body. Because otherwise you have these men out here lusting after you, right? right? right. And men, and there's men out here who trying to get themselves right. They trying to get themselves right, right? right? But now they walking past you and they see you behind. They trying to get themselves right. The book of Matthew, chapter yeah. five, verse twenty-eight. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Right, and that's what happens. The man here look at the woman and he'll lust after her because he can see her whole frame. Right. He see the whole frame, and now he lusting out there. So that's why, for sisters, you're supposed to dress modestly. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.